Hey everyone, welcome back. So I pulled out all of my graded coins and it's not as many as it appears. To be honest, these three and a half cases here, the two, the PCGS, the two blue generic boxes, and then the half box, they're empty. I no longer have coins in them. Uh, over the last couple of years, I have thinned out the herd, downsized, and I had a lot of duplicates. Uh, there'd be coins where I'd go to a show. And I already have the coin, the year, the grade. And um, just found a nicer one. Sometimes it was a higher grade. Sometimes it was the same grade. But I'd find a nicer one. And either the price was right. I thought it was a great price and I'd buy a coin. So, again, over the last couple of years, I've been thinning the herd. I said, let me get rid of the duplicates first, and I'll keep the better of the two. And there were some where I let the buyer pick, and it was surprising because some of these duplicates, they were in a PCGS holder, and some could have been in an Annex holder. And if it was in an Annex holder, they didn't even look. They just took the PCGS coin. And I buy the coin, not the holder. I'm not focused on one particular third-party grader. So, um, yeah, it really surprised me because I felt some of the PCGS coins, I thought they could have had details on the label. I was not impressed with the coins at all. I felt like they slipped through the cracks. And so um, I don't mind that this box is now empty. I moved over what I had into this one and um, I'm okay with less, especially when the uh, I have the better of the two. So again, I buy the coin, not the holder. That's what I was always told. And anyway, the whole point of this was I went through and I picked out the three best coins I could send to CAC they got back to me. They actually called me. They accepted me and fast-tracked my membership. So I want to see what I had that I could send to them. And there's three coins I'm going to send to them. Three coins. It's going to be a costly submission, uh, especially if these come back without a sticker, without a green or a gold. Um, but I'm willing to take that chance. It's more curiosity. I want to see if I could do it, and um, I'm comfortable grading coins myself, but grading in terms of a green bean or a gold bean, a cack sticker, it's a different story. Uh, I think they say, and I looked, you know, I had, a, I had this discussion with someone else, more or less a comment. And then I ended up correcting it when I found a better stat. I actually found it deeper into CAC's website. I think it was something like only 43% of the coins that get sent to them get stickered. So, again, it's something I want to do. Curiosity. Have the funds available to do it. So, I'm going to do it now. Also, because postage goes up, I think it's January 18th. I don't know if it's January 18th or 20th. So I heard priority mail is going to go up another five and a half percent. And postage is just ridiculous as it is. Um, so I want to get these out now. Going to take the chance. If they come back without stickers, oh well. If they come back with stickers, hey, that's great. And if it's a mix, unstickered and stickered, hey, I'll still be happy. Want to do this. So... I'm not going to show what coins these are, but I will show the unboxing when they come back from CAC. Stickered or not, uh, there's not going to be any tricks. It's going to be opened up right in front of our eyes. And um, we're all going to see together if I made a mistake by doing this. If it was a, I guess you'd say, learning opportunity or if it's going to pan out. So, um... Just wanted to do that. Then, in some future videos, I'll probably go through these 
I'll show you what I'll ha what I have. Well, I'll most likely definitely go through these, but I might have to do it where one day it's copper and bronze, or I might just do annex one day and NGC another and PCGS another. And I only have a couple, like a handful of IGC. Now that one is definitely not a brand that's a fave of mine. So I don't have many of those at all. So again, this is all I have in coins now. Most of my coins are from the 1800s. I did recently, a couple months back, I think it was October, sold my oldest coin. That should have been in a video in the past. That was my 1805 drape bust. I got rid of that. Um, that was my only details coin. I, that's it. I only had one details coin. That was it. And um, it bothered me. I hated having details on the label. Uh, it's an old coin. The, those 1800s and those coins from the 1700s. I mean, to be honest, it's okay to have a details uh, on your label for those. I mean, they're just, some of those are just hard to come by and straight grade it. And if they are, uh, they're, some of those are a fortune. So, um, it just bothered me enough where I'm like, I don't care. I just don't want a details in my collection. So every single coin here, straight grade it. Uh, well, not all these I'd submit it. Some of these I bought that way, but there are submissions of mine mixed in here so again we'll revisit that stay tuned there will be another video out thank you for watching if you made it this far and take care till next time